Okay, so we're back again. Uh, so we got the TerraClean treatment done yesterday. Um, obviously before the, we fitted the valves and the new rock cover gasket, but had that done. I haven't driven it too hard yet, so can't quite comment on the effects, but I wanted to get the rest of the work done first before um, try and get on sort of full throttle. So we're going to carry on today, try and get uh, the rest of the work done. Yeah, we'll see how we go. So I've got a new um, quarter inch ratchet set. So I seem to have lost mine out of my tool box. Um, so I got this from Halfords, it's their advanced one. So new, seems like it's a new modular system. Um, <clears throat> so fit in the drawers. Obviously this toolbox isn't big enough, but when we get a new one. So just gonna unbox this, see what we've got. Okay. <clears throat> so here it is. Um, my sockets have fell um, underneath one another. But uh, yeah, so it's a more comprehensive than the quarter inch side, which is what I wanted. I've already got these in 3 8 but it'll be useful to have these in smaller size as well to be able to use a smaller ratchet. Hopefully, I can now get to the back inlet manifold bolts for this, so we'll give it a try. Okay, so I managed to get this piece of shit out. I did it without removing the intake manifold. Um, I finally found a spot. Uh, I took the inlet tube off properly instead of just moving out of the way. Um, I managed to find a spot sort of down there my hand to go so I could pull on the other side of the hose and it goes on here. Finally got it off and then managed to sort of contort its way out under the the, the hump in the inlet manifold. Whew. So I don't know if you can see inside there. pretty grotty so it might have been changed I don't know I can't see anything in the service history so probably not um, so I've got a new one under here so we're gonna put that one um, try and replace this little rubber grommet that goes into the inlet first and then yeah put the new piece in hopefully it should be a little bit easier than the old one came out so let's do that that's the new rubber bush grommet whatever you call it inlet I'm going to try and fit this in. So there we go, that's in. Certainly went in a lot easier than the old one came out. I'm connect the hose back up and put these three screws back in. Um, I've got to get this off as well. Uh, yeah, maybe some pliers or something. Okay, so we got the uh, crankcase, let me get the light again. We got the uh, valve back in. So we got those three nuts tied up. I haven't put this hose on yet because next I'm going to take off the rocker cover, replace the gasket on that, and put some new plugs in.
gasket off. Sorry, rocket cover off. Um, didn't get any footage of me taking it off because the battery died on the camera. Um, but we got it off. It's on the bench now. Cleaned all this surface up. Um, the old gasket was so brittle. <laughs> you can see it's so brittle it just snapped coming off. Um, new ones. Obviously nice and rubbery. Got a new gasket here. Again, our old one is pretty, pretty solid. So we'll see. They're not very flexible. It's not going to compress and take up the uh, and seal very well. So no wonder it was leaking. Um, I saw me earlier taking out uh, spark plug number one, and there was loads of oil, obviously, in that spark plug well. So it was probably leaking around here. The others seem pretty dry, um, but I mean it could have been leaking around the back, probably was somewhere. So we're going to get the new um, gasket in and then put the, and then replace the rocket cover. So I've got the car all buttoned back up now, I uh, couldn't film too much of it, again the camera and battery died but I'll just show you what we've done, um, put all the covers back on, so new spark plugs in, put all the ignition, um, ignition wiring back on, put all the covers back on, put the, uh, the hose for the uh, crankcase valve, I didn't replace the bottom valve, which the bottom hose, which goes to here, because it's just too inaccessible. Um, so we've left that as the original one. Uh, reconnected all the math, put the air filter back in, put all the again the uh, alternator ducting back on. All of this, which I took apart. So uh, get the front in the air on the ramps, and do the oil and the fuel filters and then turn it round, stick the rear in the air and uh, try and get the exhaust fixed up then lastly should be the wheels so um, we'll just tidy this up and then get the car up on the ramps 